don't you think maybe part of the whole American mythology, the American ethos is pulling you up by your, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, starting from ground zero and then ending up in, you know, in the sky. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a myth. It does happen, but you know, a large part of it is, mm -hmm. is a myth. And a lot of people that are able to do that don't necessarily aren't able to maintain that position once they've achieved it. I did a film about 15 years ago, a major Hollywood film with a major Hollywood star and kind of a dramatic action film. Uh, the writer of the screenplay had been unproduced. At the time that he sold the screenplay that week, His lights, electricity in his house, he had you know, a wife and a kid, uh, had just been cut off. They couldn't make the payment to keep electricity in their house. And then suddenly he sold the script and he got the money and got the electricity turned back on. And it was like a classic rags to riches thing. Suddenly he was being interviewed everywhere, it was a major film. And his story about what happened to him became sort of very public and all that and everything like that. And as far as I know, and I say that was almost 15 years ago, he has not really sold anything since. Mm. That is of a major, hmm. major notice. I'm sure he's continued to work, but I know several writer friends like that that have had one or two projects that have sold and have gotten, and then they struggle for the next decade. Do you think that there's a spiritual connection? And what I mean by that, uh, is illustrated in this example, my friend Greg Landry, who uh, produces videos, and at, be, at a certain point in his career, he was deciding whether or not to go independent and all of the risks that were involved. He was newly married, he had a, his first mm -hmm. baby on the way, so money was certainly a huge factor. And the way he describes the story is the minute he resolved in himself that he was going to do it and he had those reasons firmly in his heart, um, this is kind of serendipity started happening uh, that wasn't happening necessarily mm. before. Mm -hmm. You know, phone calls were coming in, mm -hmm. whereas before the phone mm -hmm. was dead. But there was this kind mm -hmm. of divine intervention all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What, what yeah, is that? That's, that's very interesting, that whole question of, you know, maybe the faster you chase something, the more it recedes from you. And sometimes maybe we just need to stop and let things happen. And Is it about having faith <clears throat> or what? I think at a certain point you have to have faith in yourself. You know, you do what you can, but you don't allow your career dynamic or your desire to move forward get in the way of, I guess, a kind of purity of intention. Mm -hmm. And I think I really believe that if you know in a very pure way and in an ethical way, and I'm talking about aesthetical ethics, you know, what it is you want, you are in a much better position for it to actually happen.